So to actually get the real response, we're going to use some middleware in Express called Body Parser. Now the Body Parser knows how to take the body from here and pass it into something called the request.body. So I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you a few steps here. First of all, we have to stop the server. Next, we have to install a new add-on called the body parser. So this is the body parser. By the way, if you want to install any of the stuff you're installing, you can just do uninstall, by the way. But I'm going to install the body parser now. So that's just another library that we are going to add to our system now. It added the body parser here, and um, let's try and use it. So going into my code here, I'm just going to come this in. This is how you use the body parser. Let me just try and zoom a bit. By the way, next lesson, we're going to get away from Notepad. I'm getting tired of Notepad. But Notepad here, we can go in and we can say, I want to add, require a new thing called the body parser. I'm just requiring a body parser right now. And that body parser, I'm going to tell it that I'm going to use JSON. So I'm going to send JSON encoded bodies to this tool. That means I'm just referring to what we're sending here is going to be JSON, right? The second part just means that we're going to use URL encoded bodies. Let me explain that later. I'm not going to dive into that right now. But that means that now we can actually, instead of returning when the post request, just sending a stupid message back, we can actually explain to the request that we're going to send JSON back. And the JSON, we're going to find that this is something that is built by the body parser. We can now say request the body to actually get the body of the actual request back, meaning that we are going to get this back right now. So let me just restart the server here. I'll do JSON, I'll do server, node server here again, and I'll just do a send again. And notice instead of the stupid request we got before, I actually get JSON back now. So we just made the server return the body as a response. That's all we had to do. Next lesson, let's start by switching out our editor and dive more into this.